Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late on Friday in my part of the world, on the 12th of July, Microsoft rolled out the latest Beta Channel Insider Preview build, 22635.3930, and that was with the update KB5040550. Now, if you are interested as to what Microsoft uh, is working on uh, in the Beta Channel, just a quick video to go through some of the new features in this latest build. Now, first of all, just having a look at some of the screenshots taken from this announcement, uh, Microsoft says there's now shared content in the File Explorer home, where the File Explorer will now provide you with quick access to files that have been shared, um, that have been shared with you. So if you are signed into Windows with your Microsoft account, you'll be able to view files that have been shared with your account, such as email, Teams, chat, and so on. And if you are a commercial customer who is signed in with your Microsoft Intro account, uh, Microsoft says you will additionally be able to view files that have been shared with others. And over and above the new shared uh, menu and option, you will also be able to view a broader set of file types uh, in your recent favorites and shared sec sections of the home page. So as an example, if you've recently opened and or edited files in Designer, Loop, Power Bar, Forms, etc., these files will now be available in your recent list according to Microsoft. So shared content and those other improvements are now being tested in the beta channel. And then moving on to the next uh, change and improvement. We have spoken about this one previously on the channel, and this has now made its way into the beta channel, where they are trying out a more simplified system tray to highlight the date, time in a shortened form, and to show the notifications bell icon based on DND status. And I think this is a small yet significant change just to help declutter your system tray, which I think is a nice move. Now, Microsoft also says you can revert to the long form of the date, time, and bell icon visuals by toggling the values in the settings via settings, date and time, under show time and day in the system tray. And these settings are also accessible through the context menu shown by right-clicking the system tray clock bell icon button. So I think this is a nice, small yet significant change moving in the right direction, as I would say. And then sticking with the taskbar, um, they've updated the previews that show when, your, when you mouse hover over apps on the taskbar. So they've also improved the animations for when these previews show on the taskbar based on insider feedback. So quite a lot happening with the taskbar uh, in this latest beta channel insider build. And I'm just going to mention the next one. They've updated the taskbar to now support first letter navigation. So when um, so when keyboard focus is set to the taskbar, um, using Win and T, you can press a letter and it will jump to the open or pinned app whose name starts with that letter and then microsoft says that pressing the letter multiple times will jump to the subsequent app which starts with that letter if there are multiple apps for that letter and then another taskbar so-called improvement is um windows studio fx as you may well know and we've also spoken about this previously on the channel which has now made its way to the beta channel um, Windows Studio FX give you AI-based camera and audio enhancements on devices equipped with a neural processing unit, NPU, as you may well know. So Microsoft has said you can now access Studio FX in quick settings from the system tray of the taskbar and to further streamline um, this whole experience according to Microsoft, an icon will now appear in the system tray when using any application with, with a Studio FX enabled camera. So how this all works is you just click on this icon uh, to launch the Studio FX page in quick settings and over and above that hovering over the icon um, will also display as we can see a tooltip indicating which app is utilizing the camera. So that's also now made its way into the beta channel. And then the last one for the purpose of this video, they've also updating the UR, the user interface in the Windows share window as we can see for sharing content to an Android device. And this began rolling out in a previous build and now they've obviously carried on working on this now in the beta channel starting last week. And Microsoft says the option is also, um, the option is also moved to under nearby share in the Windows share window. And the feature requires you to pair your Android device to your Windows PC using the link to Windows app on Android and phone link 
on your PC. So those are the kind of new features and new improvements uh, that have been made available. And over and above that, um, we do get a couple of fixes that have rolled out to the beta channel for last week. And because the beta channel is still in effect a preview, there are a good couple of known issues that obviously Microsoft has to work on before this and these, some of these features roll out to stable. So that's more or less what's new in last week's beta channel build with, with the update KB5040550 and that was build 22635.3930. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.